After 21 months, all brackets and wires were removed. She obtained a good alignment. Before, after. Before, after. Before, after. Before, after. This is the second example of SPA. This lady was 23 years old. She complained of severe clouding. Chin was retrusive. Left canine and moral relations were class 2. This high canine was blocked out. And also, lower canine was blocked out too. Upper and lower dental midline shifted to her left side. The right molar relation was class 1, but the left molar relation was class 2. Her power to FH was only 95.5. IMP was 101.7. Maxillary and mandibular incisors tilted to left. Maxillary first bicuspis and mandibular second bicuspis were extracted with the third molars. Canines were aligned. The left first molar was more medially positioned. The right side had a space, but the left side still had a clouding. The right molar relation was class 1, the left molar relation was class 2. The left canine and second bicuspid and the first molar need distal movement. JA type, 8 mm long screw was placed parallelly between 6 and 7. By using a parallel SPA, unilateral distal driving was obtained well. Midline was still, uh, still off. And uh, after obtaining the space, upper incisors retracted uh, by using class 2 elastic bands. After detailing, all brackets were removed. After debunking, midline zone and class 1 relationship before, after, before, after. After the bonding, before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after. Before, after. One year and one month after the bonding. Post retention. Before, after the bonding, and post retention. How much force is applied? Because the movement is a translation type and the first molar has three roots, I think 120 gram is adequate. How can we get bodily movement? By adjusting the position of the S-shaped hook, the force can be applied to the center of resistance perpendicularly. These are comparisons of the lateral step radiographs in a case. This superimposition showed that the upper first molar was moved bodily and there was no clockwise rotation of mandible. If the point of force application is changed, the pattern of distal movement also can be changed. If a long vertical arm with a high point of force is applied, the roots will 
move distally further. If a short vertical arm with a low point of force is applied, the crown will tip distally. Palatal SPA. A palatal SPA had a distal and outward rotational effect. Buckle SPA had a distal and inward rotational effect. How to counteract these rotational effects? Please use a heavy main arch wire or use both buckle and palatal SPA together or use TPA plus SPA. How can we avoid the touch of the second bicuspid root? Usually without a problem, three to four distal movement of each side can be obtained. First try to place the mini implants near the first molars root as possible. After upper two molars are moved distally, anterior teeth to the mini implants are retracted. Because the second bicuspid is tipped backward around the center of rotation near the level of a mini implant, the space closing is achieved without touching the second bicuspid root. If the screw prevents the distal movement of a second bicuspid root, reposition the screw distally. This case is the most recent one. She is still under treatment. Clinical tips will be presented. This lady was 22 years old. Her chief complaints are uh, as follows. She wanted to know whether it was possible to have a clouded, clouding treated with non-extraction. When she consulted at the private dental clinic, the doctor suggested the removing uh, retro incisor and doesn't concern about her, uh, she doesn't concern about her slight asymmetry. Her dental middle was on. She had a straight uh, profile. This, right, these lateral incisors were blocked out from the arch. They were recommended to be extracted at the private practice. The upper dental midline was uh, shifted to her left side. The left molar relation was class 2. Upper central incisors were tilted to her left side. Upper dental midline was shifted to her left side. She had a protruded uh, gonial angles. After removing the third molar, some space can be obtained, but the second molar root tips touched the cortical bone, so it is not possible to move the root tip distally. Only the crowns can be tipped distally a little bit. On her MRIs, right left TMJ showed anterior disc displacement with reduction. All of the molars were extracted. Please take a standard uh, X-ray. In the maxilla, the buccal interleptic class space was narrow but the palatal spaces were wide enough. In the mandible, the interradicular spaces were not wide, but okay. In the maxilla, JA type A millimeter screws were placed as far distally as possible. In the mandible, six millimeter screws were placed. First, place the palatal screws and take an impression on the study model uh, I fabricated the TPA SPA. You can use a bondable plotter sheets, but they dropped in this case. I prefer to use the bands on the first molars. In the mandible, an open coil was inserted between four and six, and the power chains were applied from the screws to canines. Single tie. In the beginning, the distance between hook and screw is long enough. Simply stretch uh, the power chain and uh, hook it to the screw. I call it a single tie. As molars move distally, the distance between hook and screw becomes shorter. 
Then please use double over tie. First, hook the power chain to the screw head. Stretch the power chain and move it underneath the hook. While pulling the chain, bend it backward. Hook the chain on the head. J8 types weak undercut is good to use double over tie. The slide shows the beginning of the distal movement. Open coils were applied between uh, 21 and 31, and between 32 and 42. IPR was done for the lower incisors. Spaces were made for alignment of 22 and 41. The molars moved not keeping but bodily. The light molar relation was class 2. The upper dental midline shifted to her right side. The palatal SPA was applied for unilateral distal movement. For collection of uh, upper retra incisor close bite, the bite was propped with blue resin. Torque control was applied 41 and 42. Upper dental midline shifted to a right side. It was caused by the occlusal interference and 25 screw touched the 25 uh, screw touched, which prevented the distal movement. At the at the next appointment, the screw will be repositioned distally. Please enjoy the uh, progress changes in the lower arch. This is the final uh, case. This gentleman was 20 years old. He had a straight profile. <clears throat> he complained of a poor anterior protrusion and slight clouding. When he was 9 years old, he showed a class to vision 1 with upper anterior protrusion. By using a cervical headgear and a fixed appliance, he got a fine alignment when he was 12 years old. His anterior teeth tipped forward and the internal angle decreased. His anterior teeth tipped and this is the final uh, occlusion when he visited at age of 20. His anterior teeth tipped forward and the internal angle decreased a lot and the right step was taken when he was 12 years old. Uh, just before the bonding, and the left sap is uh, uh, eight years later. During eight years, his mandible grew a lot. Late mandibular growth made the, the maxillary incisors proclined more. All of the molars were extracted. By using a TPA plus SPA, maxillary molars were moved distally. Lower mu and classly elastics were applied for the distal movement of mandibular test. When using classly elastics, the double over tie was applied to make the molar increase strong. After making the, the opposite open, upper teeth were retracted actively by using TPA plus SPA. Two lingual buttons were bonded on upper canines and power chains applied. After the bonding, before, after the bonding, before, after the bonding, after the bonding before treatment, and please look at the total distal movement of this before treatment and total dentition moved backward one year and three months post retention. These are my favorite skeletal anchorage systems. La, uh, 
Three years ago, I visited Cambodia with my team. We did a volunteer dental service in three poor suburb areas near Phnom Penh. We visited three different places. And uh, it rained a lot. And one of our <clears throat> bosses slipped and fell in the gutter. Then I shouted, let's push this bus out of the gutter. So the other bus was towing the bus. All of us did our best to push the bus out. But it failed because the mud was very slippery. A small towing truck came. I, it looked too small to tow the big bus. After the truck was anchored to the strong tree, the big bus was towed successfully by the cable. Finally, we could come to the hotel in Phnom Penh. This strong tree is like a mini implant or an anchor plate. It is like an indispensable equipment, I mean, essential tool in orthodontic treatment. Sometimes it will rescue you and your patients from problems. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kim, for preparing a wonderful lecture. Uh, now we will have a five minutes break time. Uh, if you need more time for your questions, please write in the Q&A. Thank you. Um. So, uh, can you can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yeah. May I may I uh, so re may I read the question and answer now? Uh, no, we will have we'll start that in five minutes. All right. 